Hello everyone, so today I will be showing you an overview of how to get a static design and make it into a functional React application that you can save onto GitHub ready to be deployed. Okay, so a real life from zero to hero demonstration of how to work with generated code. This video is going to focus on how to work with existing and pre-made designs. What this means is that we are going to learn how to work with what is given to you from a designer as a developer and hook it up to a database in order to make it work. Okay, so in a way we will be mimicking what happens when you start a new job as a developer at a startup and you are presented with a design and you're expected to code it out and give it functionality. So let's break it down. What we are going to be doing is in this video, I will show you how to take a design that is built in Figma, which is created by dragging and dropping elements such as shapes and text to create a visualization of the application. Next, we are going to explore how to create the app's UI in React and CSS using Anima in a matter of seconds. We will do this by importing the design and using Anima to generate functional components for our app. We are then going to see how to grab all that code and work it into our application as well as build a database to populate the app. And finally, I'm going to show you an overview of how to retrieve that data using a mini backend built in Express so that we can hook it up to the necessary fields in our app as well as end with refactoring and tidying up as well as where to go next if you want to try this out for yourself. Okay, so a lot to get through in this video. I hope you're ready. Now, the only prerequisites before watching this video are to have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React and Express in order to follow along with me. We will start off on Figma where we can see our design that has been built for us. This is a design that designer has created for us. They have created it by dragging and dropping elements to tell us as developers how the app should look like when it's finished. At the moment, it has no real functionality that we would expect from an app like this. We can drag in text to it just like so, and the design will be altered. To get this design and generate it into code, I will need to get the Anima plugin. But first, let's create a project and call it Venus. So in my Anima platform, I would go ahead and create that and back in the Figma app, I'm going to show you where my pre-installed Anima plugin lives so you can get it too. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Now, making sure I am in the correct project, I'm going to go ahead and click export code. After going through the motions on our Anima platform, you will see the design from Figma has now been generated in here. Wonderful. And not only that, if we click on the code button, we will see the code that has been generated for us. Making sure that the whole page is selected, I can get all the React and CSS code that Anima has generated here. There are also a few more options to our disposal. We can generate code that has class components or even choose style components or SAS or view if we wish. So great, now that we have the code, let's get to using it to create our project. The next steps I would take is to create a database that will store the data we need to populate the dashboard. As you can see here, I am using Datasax Astra, a free database management system, and simply creating a database called Venus, in which we will add data to an accounts collection and a payments collection. Add any data that you wish, as long as it has a structure like this for the accounts and a structure like this for the payments. And of course, don't forget to save your Astra token in order to communicate with the database later on. Once that is done and we have some data, we will then create our project. Using a code editor or IDE of choice, please create your React app so it's ready for us to get coding. Once we have our backend done, let's go to using our Anima generated code. I am simply going to copy all of this code right here from Anima and place it in the app.js file as well as get all the CSS code that Anima has generated and place it in the CSS file. And there we have it. So super simple. The final touches will now involve licking up our data from our backend to the front end components we imported and doing some refactoring to make our project more readable. And voila, we have now finished hooking up the data to the front end components. 
Hopefully you have enjoyed this brief overview and if you would like to make this app with me by coding along step by step, please do check out my two hour tutorial. Thanks everyone and I hope to see you around soon.